My name is Kimberly Nesbitt. My colleague Dale Farron and I are the authors of this SRCD monograph exploring the effects of pre-kindergarten curriculum on children's development. In this publication, we focus on the growing idea that a scripted and intentional curriculum is essential for high quality early childhood classrooms. We use our extensive longitudinal evaluation of one particular pre-kindergarten curriculum called Tools of the Mind as a case study for looking at programs of this kind. In this video, we touch on various themes that we cover in depth in the monograph. First, Dale Farron will provide some context for our study. Only in the last 25 years or so have early childhood programs begun to entertain the idea of a curriculum to guide practices, content, and pedagogy in early childhood classrooms. In the early 1990s, in fact, the director of early childhood for a state stood up and walked out of a discussion with me when I mentioned the possibility of a curriculum being used. Curricula were perceived to be too directive, too predetermined, inappropriately dictating what and how children should learn. The notions of maturation and children learning when ready dominated the early childhood field. Those tensions are still with us. For the past 20 years, state funding has steadily increased for pre-kindergarten programs usually targeted to children of poor families. State departments of education most often administer those programs. While pre-kindergarten classrooms created immediate effects on school readiness, there is a disappointing lack of continued effects. Searching for ways to improve the programs led many people to espouse the use of intentional, scripted curricula targeted to academic skills. But there was a pushback, as again, others thought that these types of curricula were too narrow. Tools of the mind appear to be a wonderful compromise. Here is a curriculum that focuses on the development of self-regulation and executive function skills as tools for learning important literacy and math skills. Children's executive function skills are developing at the same time they are enrolled in pre-kindergarten classrooms. The ability to think before you act, to develop plans, and to respond flexibly to changing demands. All of these require executive function skills and serve children well in school. Much research shows correlational connections between executive function skills and academic achievement. The important questions, of course, are whether those skills are malleable and whether there is a causal relation between executive function skill development and academic achievement. Tools of the Mind provided a terrific opportunity to explore these questions. Working closely with the curriculum developers, we recruited school districts and developed a fidelity of implementation instrument to keep track of how closely the curriculum was carried out. With the developers, we also determined in more general ways how classroom interactions would differentiate tools of the mind classrooms from others. Finally, we assessed both the immediate effects of the curriculum and the longer term effects into first grade. We believe our results provide important insights and lessons that will be useful to early childhood education in general. We hope our monograph and the associated materials we have prepared for Monograph Matters will allow this important dialogue to continue. Thank you for your interest in our work, which is published open access and available to the public. If you like this video, please consider watching our Monograph Matters playlist. For additional resources related to this issue and other issues of the monographs of the Society for Research and Child Development, please visit monographmatters.srcd.org.